and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about this puzzle here and I tried to get my hands on this puzzle since a long time. It's called The Dice Box, made and designed by Akio Kame from Japan. It's a puzzle box crafted in the finest quality. As you can see, if I just show it to you more in detail, it's absolutely flawless, handmade entirely out of wood. And since it's a puzzle box, you need to open it up, of course. I have no idea how this should work. However, it comes from some noise from inside, which probably gives me some hints on how to solve this puzzle. And I can tell you already now, this thing is so satisfying to handle. Not sure what species of wood this is, maybe walnut. Even the smell of this wood is really satisfying. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. But I'm a puzzle enthusiast, what should I, what should I do? <laughs> so that's the puzzle box for today. By the way, also maybe a super cool gift box for something valuable you would give away on Christmas. But before we start, I would like to show you some super cool gadget in addition. And this is this kaleidoscope. And it's not a common kaleidoscope, as you know from your childhood. This is a high quality product designed and handmade by Roy Cohen in Israel. It contains this brass body, two mirrors installed inside. And here in the front, you can see what's causing these kaleidoscope patterns. There are some plastic beds and other stuff in here. There's not just air or water inside. It definitely has a higher viscosity as water. So I would assume it's maybe glycerin or something similar. Due to this glycerin, the movement is very smooth. Let me just demonstrate how amazing this looks like. To be able to show it to you, I just prepared my mobile here with some stickers on the rear. And if my theory is right, I can just glue this here on the top and show you the inside and how amazing this looks. So let me just zoom in a bit and look at this. Depending on how you shade it here from the sides, can change how the colors appear. What a nice gadget, seriously. But we are not here to look at gadgets forever. By the way, if it would be interesting for you seeing gadgets like this, maybe one episode only showing some gadgets, and I will see if I can realize something like that for you. But today, of course, is about a puzzle and not only about gadgets. And therefore, I'm gonna show you a short spoiler break right now. And afterwards, I'm gonna try to solve the dice box by Akio Kame. Okay, let's see. This puzzle looks so amazing. And the first thing I try to understand is where this puzzle box actually opens up. So let me just check each side. So we have here the sides number six and number three. And they are completely surrounded by other parts. So either there's a two-step solution, like sliding one side away and then moving this side, there will be no way to open this up, I think. And we have this side here, number five. Could maybe slide in this direct in one of these directions because it's only surrounded here. Same for number two. I'm not sure if this is multiple balls, sounds like a steel ball or something. So maybe not entirely made out of wood, as I said in the introduction. Maybe I can press somewhere here inside. Not that I have some buttons over here somewhere. Up to now, absolutely clueless. Oh, here, here we go. The number six can actually slide away and I was wrong. Even if it's surrounded here, there is a small gap over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I move it over here, you can probably see it. There's now a little step. So it means the number six will slide over here and it's blocked by something. Let me see if there are more gaps like this one. Wow, this is, I mean, this is crafted excellently. Nearly invisible. You can only slightly see because of the different grain slightly darker over here. This is pure satisfaction. I mean, look at how, how tight these tolerances here are for a wooden part. Perfectly crafted. So let's focus on what's going on inside. 
Let me see what happens here inside. If I move it to number six and then move number six upwards, nothing happens. <laughs> so there's something rolling over here from one to three and uh, one to four. Oh, this is also strange. Number one is opposite to number four and number three to number six. I mean, I do not know much about about uh, dice, but I know for sure that number six is always opposite to number one. And I think it's like number five and number two. This seems to be correct. And number four and number three. But this is different. Is this maybe a hint? What can be the reason for this? Mm, I think I have a clue. Yes, and this explains also the numbers. If I start from number one, let me see. Not sure what the ball is right now. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. No, it does not work. Back to number one, maybe. I think the positions of the numbers have been changed to give me a clue about the sequence. I need to move the thing. Maybe I need to tap it. I don't know. Let's see again. Number one. And number two. Number three. Okay, where's the number six? Number four. Number five. Number six. Oh, does not work. Maybe other way around. Maybe number. Maybe they need to be on on the bottom side. Like number one, number two, uh, number five, and number six. No, also doesn't work. Where do I, where do I know where to start? So let me just try it again. Ah, again. So we start with number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Yes. And if the sounds comes again. This is so brilliant. Unfortunately, I cannot see the mechanism. Ah, there seems to be a ball inside running somewhere in a maze or something. And at a certain point, it just unlocks something which is probably over here in this corner. Maybe a stick or something comes up here. You can see at this pressing mark that there's probably a stick coming over here, up here maybe this ball is magnetic i don't know and as soon as it reaches this position over here it will pull down the stick and then lock the puzzle so let's lock it again let me just see if i can open it up like this no it's not so it's definitely pro proof against bumping it somewhere before you ask let me just check how big the compartment is inside so we got here like about 60 millimeters so it's about only about 55 and the depth without the lid 35 millimeters just in case you would like to use this to box something regarding the difficulty i think this can be much more challenging than it actually was for me what gave me the right idea was the numbering and that it was not opposite as on a regular dice pretty clever and pretty subtle hint even if i was fast i would still rate this with a level three out of maximum of five because i think this can be very confusing for a lot of people let me know what you think about this puzzle in the comments from my point of view you great design very clever very very well made that's it for today and until next time keep on puzzling